Welcome my freckled friends, this is Jamie, and in today's video we are going to be watching Han Volcano. This is a skiz record that just came out. I'm really excited because I don't think I have, I don't think I've listened to any of their records or records. Is it record or record? Record, right? Like a record. Or is it a record? I think I did this last time and then I felt stupid when I realized which one it was. Is it a record? Like a record? Or, 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 or is it like record, like we recorded it? I don't know. <laughs> That's gonna make me feel so stupid. But I have not listened to one of these before. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. Hold on, I just wanna see. It does have English subtitles. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna watch. Yeah, we're gonna watch the video. I have English subtitles on. So that is what we are gonna do. If I feel like, because this isn't like a music video, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just watch the video. If I feel like I was distracted or still didn't get the lyrics, I'll go back and actually read the lyrics. But we're gonna go ahead and just go straight into this video. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm excited. not even I feel like even if I was not looking at the subtitles I feel like I could still understand the tone of this song I love musically I love this so far it's definitely my favorite so far that he has done I've said a couple times about Han's music that I feel like sometimes his songs are more focused on lyrics than the actual music because he tends to keep his music a little more simplistic but I feel like this is just there's like so many things going on production wise that I am just I'm loving I'm loving this so much um, and then you add the words onto it and it's just like it's very touching and just very like you I feel like we all need that kind of person who will say these things you know it's like getting to me uh and i feel like this is a song that's like very hopeful and very and like somewhat positive because <laughs> i was just saying recently in my album review that a lot of han songs are sad you know and are like about breakups or are about like feeling so so low and you know not necessarily knowing what to do this one i feel like though is it's like it's, it's a it's a beautiful song you know um and a beautiful message and i mean his other songs are beautiful as well don't get me wrong i think he's a wonderful lyricist um and i definitely think that is his strong suit but yeah i don't know this one definitely has a different tone to it and I'm I'm really loving it. Sorry, I had to take a little break. <laughs> okay, 
Let's get into it. that song goes into like my top five Stray Kids songs. Maybe my, I'm like, I'm timid to say that's now my favorite, but wow, I, I so enjoyed that. Like that's the kind of song that I can see myself listening to over and over and over and over again. I enjoyed that from start to finish. I enjoyed like every, every bit of that, like musically, vocally, lyrics. It's, it's not that it doesn't take, it's not that it takes a lot to touch me lyrics wise. It's just usually lyrics are like the last thing that I pay attention to with a song. I'm usually, I usually focus more on production of a song. That one is typically first. That's like the first thing that I usually focus on. And then second is vocals. And then third, I'll start paying attention to the lyrics of a song. That's why I've always said I'm not great at interpreting lyrics because I typically just not that I don't care, but it's just, that's kind of like the least of my concerns <laughs> with a song. But this one, it's like, I was just so like focused on the lyrics and I was, mm, I can't speak, <laughs> but I was so focused on the lyrics and I was so touched by the lyrics. I feel like a lot of us like want somebody who would say this to us and who would feel this way about us, whether it's, whether it's a, a romantic relationship with someone or a platonic relationship with someone, I feel like you just always want someone in your life who would have these sentiments. Anyway, I'm just gonna go cry. But no, I, I, I really loved that. I loved this song. I, it was one of those things where it just like popped up. When was this posted? Two days ago. And it, two days ago was when I was making my schedule for the week. And so it like popped up and I, I already had like a lot of other things in mind, but I was like, ooh, okay, I'm gonna start being good about actually reacting to things like as they're coming out. And so I was like, yeah, let's put this on the, let's put this on the schedule. And I am so glad that I did because I loved that song. Do they not release these songs on Spotify? Cause that's what make me mad. Happy, which is another Stray Kids record, record, record is on Spotify. But Happy, I guess just recently came out on the Skiz replay. Maybe that's why. Y'all, am I gonna have to just always listen to this on YouTube? <sighs> it's just like August D by August D is still not on Spotify. And that just makes me, that makes me sad and upset. They need to come out with one of these. <laughs> they need to come out with a Skiz record. 
record. They're all gonna laugh at me because I'm saying that wrong. I'll just keep I'll just keep going back and forth with how I pronounce that. Oh, that was so good. While I curse them for not um, having it on Spotify. That is it for today's video. If you haven't, remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments what you thought of this song. Oh, they have a freeze dance practice, y'all. That just came out four hours ago. I'll have to react to that too. Anyways, that's it for today's video. See you in the next one. Bye y'all.